Why is too much kindness not healthy, and soon destroys yourself? Being kind is valuable, but excessive kindness can harm you and your identity without you realizing it. Being kind is good, but doing it all the time at the expense of your health and happiness is not okay. Taking care of yourself is not selfish, and it's okay to disagree sometimes. Just be honest, clear, and firm in expressing your feelings without being mean. Being too kind can make you seem schemy and wanting something from every interaction. The other side of the board plays a different game, however. Being fruitful and giving to others can give people a false perception of your kindness taken for weakness. Consequently, people will walk all over you and can lead to a sequence of events resulting in the destruction of your future. As we explore further, we're discovering seven things how being excessively kind without clear boundaries can upset the balance in our lives. From losing our sense of self to facing unexpected challenges in relationships and well-being, this exploration focuses on finding the right balance between kindness and maintaining the integrity of our lives. Come along as we navigate through this complex journey, understanding how kindness, if not kept in check, can lead to unforeseen challenges and complications. Number 1. Kindness leads to life's disappointments. Change and we explore kindness, the burden of expectations. True kindness involves giving without expecting anything in return. Yet, in reality, our human nature often clashes with this ideal. When we consistently act kindly, it's natural to expect similar treatment in return, creating a silent force that can disrupt our lives. Imagine giving your time, energy and resources, prioritizing others' needs, but not receiving acknowledgement or reciprocation. This can lead to disappointment and resentment, gradually eroding your well-being and straining relationships, despite believing in the goodness of people. There's an unspoken hope or expectation for similar actions in return. Stoicism, an ancient philosophy emphasizing rational thought and self-control, provides valuable insight. Stoics stress that the universe owes us nothing. Acts of goodwill should be done without expecting rewards, as inner peace should not depend on external validations. While generosity should be unconditional, consistent selflessness, unmet expectations lead to feelings of betrayal and disappointment, impacting mental and emotional well-being. Continuously giving may lead to being undervalued, fostering a sense of ruin. True generosity is a two-way street giving without expectations, but also establishing boundaries to prevent kindness from being mistaken for weakness. In a world celebrating giving, it's vital to balance generosity with self-care. The delicate dance involves giving freely while guarding against potential disappointments. Incorporating Stoic philosophy, recognizing that the value of actions lies in the act itself, helps navigate this balance. By ensuring kindness enhances your life and setting boundaries, you prevent it from leading to ruin. Number two, kindness by losing yourself in excessive altruism can erode personal identity. Let's talk about the cost of being excessively kind, losing yourself. Imagine pouring your heart into helping others, often at the expense of your own dreams and identity. It's a common dilemma that many face without realizing it. Stoicism teaches us to know and pursue our values. When kindness becomes the main focus, it can overshadow our individuality. Think about times you've gone out of your way for someone, putting their needs first. While noble, this selfless pursuit can erode who you are. Stoicism highlights the importance of fulfilling personal potential for happiness and contributing to society. But when kindness takes over, it can cast a shadow over our true selves. This selfless pursuit, while admirable, can lead to neglecting our dreams, wearing a mask of perpetual benevolence that hides our true selves. Relying on external validation can blur our identity, making us live a life tailored to others' expectations. Constantly prioritizing others' happiness may lead to sidelining our own needs and aspirations, causing emptiness and alienation from our true selves. The danger lies not only in losing identity, but also in ruining our personal journey enriched with unique experiences, beliefs, and passions. It's crucial to strike a balance. While helping others is commendable, it shouldn't cost your core identity. Preserving your identity and nurturing growth are vital for offering genuine, sustainable kindness to the world. Your unique thread, vibrant with personal colors and textures, 
makes the whole picture beautiful and complete. Remember in being kind, don't forget to be kind to yourself. Number three, kindness is mistaken for weakness and others will undermine you. Into a common challenge faced by many kind-hearted individuals, the misconception that kindness equals weakness. It's frustrating and can lead to the unintended ruin of personal and professional life. Things when you consistently prioritize others over yourself, people might see you as lacking assertiveness rather than recognizing your strength in patience and resilience. This misconception can have significant consequences. In your professional life, you might miss out on promotions because others perceive you as unable to handle tough, assertive roles to in personal relationships. This misinterpretation may result in one-sided dynamics where your needs are consistently overlooked. Recognizing this perceived weakness, opportunistic individuals might take advantage, overstepping boundaries and disrespecting your time and efforts. This not only undermines your credibility, but also leaves you feeling undervalued and used, impacting your overall happiness. Stoicism, with its focus on rationality and self-respect, emphasizes the importance of wisdom and kindness. It teaches that being kind doesn't mean lacking the strength to stand up for yourself. Finding balance is crucial, showing compassion while asserting boundaries and refusing to be taken for granted. To avoid the ruin of being perceived as weak, practice kindness with discernment. Ensure your acts of kindness are coupled with self-respect and firm boundaries to uphold your dignity and command the respect you deserve. This approach not only preserves the integrity of your kindness, but also safeguards your overall well-being. Remember, true strength lies in being kind yet firm, compassionate yet assertive, and wise in your interactions with the world. In the words of the Stoics, let your kindness be a reflection of inner strength, guiding your actions with wisdom and resilience. Number four, when kindness extends beyond control. Let's dive deeper into the intricate relationship between kindness and self-control, a vital but often overlooked aspect. When kindness extends beyond our limits without self-control, it can become a draining force rather than a source of fulfillment. Imagine consistently being there for others, an admirable trait, but without self-control leading to burnout. Our bodies and minds have limits, and pushing these boundaries risks our well-being. Symptoms like chronic fatigue, stress, headaches, and weakened immunity signal that we're stretching ourselves too thin. Relentless giving can also foster emotional drain with simmering feelings of resentment and appreciation. Stoicism, a philosophy valuing rational thought and discipline, guides us on managing this challenge. Stoics stress the importance of self-control, maintaining a balance between helping others and preserving well-being. It's about recognizing and respecting our limits Practically, exercising self-control and kindness means learning to say no when necessary, setting boundaries for time and energy, and being mindful of our own needs. It's not selfish but a necessary act of self-preservation. By controlling how much we give, we ensure kindness is sustainable and not detrimental to our health. This self-control also preserves the quality of kindness. When actions are deliberate and within our capacity, they become more genuine and impactful. By not overextending, we can offer more meaningful support. Balancing kindness with self-control avoids physical and emotional exhaustion from excessive giving. It's about being kind to ourselves as much as to others. Managing resources wisely ensures kindness enriches our lives instead of leading to burnout. True kindness is a balanced act, giving generously while protecting well-being with mindful self-control. As the Stoics teach, it's about finding the middle ground where kindness is both a virtue and a sustainable force for good. Number five, kindness can distort self-worth. Let's explore how excessive giving can affect our emotional well-being and actions, delving into a critical aspect where kindness, if not tempered, can distort our sense of self-worth. This subtle but profound impact can lead to a dilution of our own value influencing our emotions and actions detrimentally. Consistent kindness may tempt us to measure our worth by these acts, creating a perilous loop where every kind gesture becomes a quest for validation. This reliance on external approval can be particularly damaging if expected appreciation doesn't materialize, causing feelings of rejection or inadequacy, even with pure and selfless intentions. 
Seeking of approval through kindness can lead to an emotional imbalance, where your value hinges solely on what you do for others, overshadowing your talents, dreams, and personal achievements. Consequently, actions may prioritize pleasing others, often neglecting your own needs and desires. Furthermore, depending on external validation for self-worth can foster conditional self-love, believing you only deserve love, Respect and care when serving others establishes a harmful pattern, making rest or focusing on your need sources of guilt or self-criticism. To break free, a shift in mindset is crucial. Recognize that your worth is not transactional, not solely defined by acts of kindness. Develop a strong sense of self-independent of external validation. Like mindfulness and self-reflection can aid in reconnecting with your intrinsic value, enabling a healthier balance between emotions and actions. While being kind is commendable, remember your self-worth isn't exclusively tied to these actions. Kindness should arise from genuine compassion, not used as a measure of your value. Balancing emotional needs with actions, understanding you're worthy by being yourself, leads to a more fulfilling and emotionally healthy life. This balanced approach ensures your kindness reflects your character, rather than seeking validation or defining your worth. Drawing inspiration from Stoic philosophy, Remember that your true value lies in your virtue and moral character, not in the external judgments or reactions to your actions. By focusing on your inner qualities and understanding that external validation is beyond your control, you can cultivate a more resilient and balanced perspective on yourself. Number six, kindness affect your personal stability in life. As we navigate the intricate landscape of kindness, a specific facet, often overlooked, demands our attention. Financial generosity. This intersection of kindness and personal stability presents unique challenges that significantly impact our financial health and overall well-being. Playing the role of a financial rescuer, whether lending money or aiding others in tough financial situations, establishes a precedent. This generous role, while appreciated, exerts internal and external pressure to sustain this form of support. It's akin to being cast in a recurring role you didn't initially seek, diverting financial resources away from personal goals, such as saving, planning vacations, or securing your future. This pattern of financial kindness can lead to substantial monetary concerns, potentially delaying or derailing your own financial plans. There exists a delicate line between generosity and recklessness. If your assistance strains your finances, involves taking on debts or compromises savings, it's a warning sign. Such financial strain induces stress, anxiety, and lasting repercussions. Continuously being the financial savior can inadvertently foster dependency. Those receiving assistance may rely on you, hindering their own financial independence. This not only strains your resources, but doesn't genuinely empower the other person in the long run. In the realm of financial kindness, establishing boundaries and guidelines is crucial. This might involve setting a budget for assistance, lending only what you can afford to lose, or providing non-monetary support such as financial advice. True help should empower others to stand on their own, avoiding a cycle of dependency. Drawing insights from Stoic philosophy, it encourages understanding one's limits and maintaining self-discipline. Stoics emphasize that true kindness involves not just giving, but giving wisely. Being prudent in financial matters aligns with the Stoic principle of recognizing what is within our control and acting virtuously. In conclusion, while financial assistance often stems from kindness, maintaining balance is paramount. This equilibrium ensures that your kind acts enrich both your life and others, without compromising your financial stability and future. Financial generosity is commendable, but it should be approached with prudence, guided by a clear understanding of personal limits. Remember, true financial kindness is not just about giving. It's about giving wisely, aligning your actions with virtues that stand the test of time. Number seven, kindness affects authenticity of relationship. In the intricate tapestry of human relationships, it becomes evident that excessive kindness can sometimes obscure the essence of genuine connections. Its impact on relationships is profound and worth exploring as it can significantly influence the quality and authenticity of our interactions with others. In the Stoic philosophy, 
An important lesson unfolds as we navigate the dynamics of relationships. Stoics emphasize the concept of reciprocity and genuine connection. When kindness becomes one-sided, where you consistently give without receiving, it can lead to an imbalance. Stoics would caution against forming connections solely based on transactions. Instead, they advocate for relationships grounded in mutual respect and understanding. The Stoic teachings encourage self-awareness and reflection on the nature of our interactions. If acts of kindness are not reciprocated, it's crucial to evaluate the authenticity of the relationship. Stoics would remind us that our worth is not solely defined by what we provide to others. Rather, it's about the shared values, respect and affection that form the foundation of genuine connections. In the pursuit of virtue, Stoicism emphasizes staying true to oneself. When excessive kindness masks our true selves, Stoics would remind us of the importance of maintaining our individuality. They encourage expressing thoughts, feelings and vulnerabilities openly. In doing so, we foster connections based on authenticity, where individuals are valued not just for their acts of kindness, but for their unique personalities. The Stoic lesson also touches upon the emotional voids that imbalanced relationships can create. Stoics value tranquility and fulfillment, and relationships lacking reciprocity may fall short of providing these essential elements. For Stoics, the key lies in recognizing when a relationship lacks depth and adjusting our expectations to align with the Stoic principle of focusing on what is within our control, our own thoughts, actions, and responses. Setting boundaries is another Stoic principle that can be applied to relationships. By understanding how much to give and being open about our needs and expectations, we align with Stoic wisdom. This discernment helps filter out inauthentic connections ensuring that our kindness is directed toward those who appreciate and reciprocate, fostering genuine, meaningful connections rooted in stoic virtues. My final say. Nice people don't finish last. We just run a long-term strategy. Only the stupid people take advantage of nice people, and maybe most people are stupid. Just be in the right lane for your life. Too much kindness may destroy you.